This is Kathy Beal of EmpowermentUnlimited.net with Astro Insight for the week of July 24th, 2017. We go into this week ignited with the fire and the passion of the first Leo new moon of the year on Sunday, July 23rd. Our engines are ignited, passions are ignited, high level, high octane energy is running through us and through many a situation like someone just set us all on fire. We are on the approach to the eclipses of August and part of the prep for that involves a number of gear shifts in mode and mood this week. Hearts, desires, relationship, money, all of them undergo a noticeable journey over the course of the week from feeling a little stymied or perhaps out of reach to an opening, opening to shake things up, blow the carbon out, make something change radically, take a big flying leap of faith maybe, and then giving way to a tender, nurturing, caring vibe as Venus, goddess of all these yummies, moves into the sign of Cancer where she will remain for the next four weeks. Meanwhile, another journey is going on over the whole week as well, and this one involves our minds, how we take in information, our level of communication, commutes, and how we get around. Yes, that would be Mercury. The beginning of the week could bring a lot of surprises, disruptions, unexpected information, breakthroughs, technological breakdowns, If you rely on public transportation, you may want to add a cushion of time. If you've been looking for answers, they may simply just flow in, possibly while you're sitting wondering when the subway's ever going to get there. Mercury changes signs on Tuesday and heads to his second home of Virgo for a relatively quick three-week stay. This is a potentially helpful counterpoint to all the fire that is building in the sky and to the fireworks that will be building as we get into eclipses next month. Mercury in Virgo encourages practical thinking, down-to-earth thinking, analyzing, engaging in discernment and discrimination, looking for how things could be better. And that could lead to a lot of grumbling and a lot of nitpicking. But maybe, just maybe, taking the Virgo approach is going to help keep everybody grounded. Or at least offer us the opportunity to be grounded. And speaking of opportunities, by the end of the weekend, Mercury and Venus, our minds and our hearts, will be traveling in a simpatico relationship. So while much of the rest of the sky is erupting in fire and passion and excitement and possibly a lot of anger, we will have access to the ability to think things through, chew them over, and do something nice and sweet for each other. Oh, okay, even this has a sordid underbelly. Griping could lead to pity parties. Eh, but you're not going to do that. In the midst of all this, on hump day, Wednesday, the Sun and Mars finally fuse. Mars was in the middle of the new moon. Mars, the warrior god, the embodiment of the masculine archetype, how we use our will, our drive, how we go after what we want. So that is now completely fused with our personality in Leo, the sign of the ego and the inner child, and the showman, and the drama queen, and the queen bee, and royalty. Not gonna be quiet. Motivation is kicking in. It is part of who you are right now. It is your juice. Whatever got revitalized, whatever got awakened and refreshed at the Leo New Moon on Sunday, now gets another hit on the gas pedal, and you're off. This influence is not necessarily prone to premeditation. It is more organic and just kind of rising up out of you and carrying you in directions. So those Virgo tendencies, 
temporary as they may be for some of us, could prove to be a very nicely timed cosmic co-pilot. Homing thought of the week, where attention goes, energy flows. Song of the week, Can't Stop the Fire by Bill Conti, and the image of the week is pumping the gas pedal. You'll find more in my forecast for the Leo New Moon, which is posted at my site, empowermentunlimited.net, on the top page and also under Astro Insight. And more in my talk, The Great American Eclipse and You, which will be on Friday, August 4, at 4 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, and afterwards on demand. And info about that is on the calendar page at my site, empowermentunlimited.net, where you can sign up for my mailing list and book a session with me. Talk to you next week.